All right, so boom, if you follow me, you already know. A couple days ago, I posted a video talking about the eclipse and how you shouldn't look at the black sun. There's a cardinal, sorry. Um, but you shouldn't look at the black sun because the black sun is not your friend. Now, I got this information from who I thought was a trusted source because I've been watching their videos for a very long time. They are, they have a big following. They say a lot of stuff that resonates with my spirit and have been saying a lot of stuff that resonated with my spirit for a very long time. However, this is why I say, don't trust these false prophets and do your own meditation on certain things and events so that you can really get a clear understanding and overstanding about these times that we're in, what you need to do to prepare, and what's truly happening on this exist on, on this plane of existence that we call Earth, aka Kai, aka Gaia, who is now transcending to Tara. So follow me. So before doing my own research and meditation on this topic. And just going to some external source, which you should never do, which I had to learn the hard way about um, for my information. Always go within because nobody can ever teach you anything that you can't learn or teach yourself. OK, they say don't go look at the black sun. Ada, ada, ada. First of all, we need to realize what a eclipse really is. They taught us. And if you go Google what happens in an eclipse, they're going to tell you some bullshit. OK, they're going to tell you some lies. They're going to say that the moon comes between the earth and the sun and you're going to see the moon pass in front of the sun. Da, 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 da. No. Okay, the moon is not even relatively the same size as the sun. We have multiple suns, okay, in this atmosphere. We have multiple planetary bodies in this atmosphere that we can see, okay? The moon and the sun are the ones that we see most of the time. But these times that we are in now, we have to understand that we are seeing different suns, okay? And we have several different suns, and these suns exist for us, and they come around in specific times in the universe um and that's when we can see it on this planet so what we're about to see and experience on april 8th is the black sun is going to be coming in front of the sun that we know now as the golden sun the white sun okay now our ancestors talked about the black sun um it's written in the pyramid they have things about the black sun there's so much information out there about the black sun go do your own research on the black sun so that you can truly get an understanding of what it is that we're about to experience but i'll give y'all a breakdown on what my spirit perceived it all as so they teach us about our solar system right they teach us that there's different planets in our solar system we have like 12 different planets right but y'all gotta understand that every planet holds its own consciousness just like earth holds her own consciousness this is why it's called mother earth and this is why earth goes through transitions and awakening periods like we're doing right now so mercury what they taught us is a planet in our solar system is actually an alchemist if you don't know what alchemy is it's like the process of taking dark and transmuting it into light by using your power um so this is like taking a negative situation and always seeming to find the positive out of it turning a negative into a positive all the time people who do that are alchemists so the planet mercury is actually in alchemist um it's an alchemistry this is why every time they tell us that mercury is in retrograde it affects our energy down here a lot because we're actually having to face a lot of our dark energy and become alchemists with mercury working with us to get us to the light again you get what i'm saying this is why a lot of times during the mercury retrograde you go through a lot of tests within your spirit and your soul because it's all connected i keep telling y'all that we as beings are connected to these planets we're connected to the stars we're connected to the universe we are the universe and we are connected so y'all have to understand that this black sun that we're about to see is the planetary body that they call Mercury. And that is what is about to pass in front of our sun on April 8th. Now, this is where it gets good for us. So the black sun actually illuminates the Hyperborea. What is the Hyperborea? It is the highest northern atmosphere of the planet, the North Star. Didn't they say that Jesus is connected to the North Star. Jesus being enlightened beings. Hello, the collective consciousness is all becoming enlightened right now. Are y'all following me? 
I told y'all this is the return of Christ. Y'all have to understand what that means. It's all spiritual. It's not phys- it's physical because we're having the physical experience, but it is all spiritual. They told y'all in a, in a physical way that made y'all think that we were going to be seeing, hearing trumpets and seeing, you know, angels and seeing this white man come up out the sky. It is not going like that, but I'm about to tell y'all how it's going to get for us. In Greek mythology, um, and a, a lot of our ancestors in the ancient times, they would refer to this black sun as the smoky god. Y'all got to understand, it's not an evil thing, it's not a negative thing, so please don't attach any fear to it. Ever heard of the northern lights, and y'all see all that green energy that's in the air? That comes from the black sun. See, the black sun's carrier is the aurora borealis y'all gotta look up all these names i did research i'm telling y'all some real shit real facts right now and so this aurora borealis it travels through the ether ether is like the atmosphere the energy on this planet and it weaves reality based on the collective intent so remember when i told y'all in previous videos that the collective's intent right now is to heal we are collectively choosing to heal we are collectively choosing to manifest what would be our heaven on earth rather than be surviving and living in this fucking hell realm that we've been that's been created for us we are waking up and we are choosing to heal collectively so april 8th when this black sun comes that is what is going to be weaved into our consciousness and into our atmosphere energetically that is the energy that this black sun is bringing the fact that we are all collectively as a consciousness on this planet the consciousness of this very plan planetary body itself okay this realm whatever you want to call it because a lot of people like to say we're not on a planet okay well this realm wherever the fuck you want to say that earth is okay <laughs> rather it's flat rather it's you know whatever you believe okay we're, we have a, it has a consciousness and it is evolving just like we are evolving in our consciousness as a collective. So that is what's going to be we. That is the new reality that we're all going to be feeling energetically. That is what this eclipse is going to bring. This is why there are spiritualists that are in um, mainstream right now, in the media right now, that are telling people, don't go look at this black sun. They are not with us. They're against us. Y'all got to understand, they are working for these higher ups, for the government, for the industry, for whoever it is. And that's what they're doing. They're putting out truth with a little bit of misinformation just to keep you kind of fearful, like you know, and um, my apologies to anybody who's seen my video about the solar eclipse before, because I was telling y'all not to go look at that black sun. Get out there and soak up that energy, okay? But y'all don't have to look at it. You're going to feel it regardless. You're going to experience it regardless. Um, every time there is an eclipse, and every time there's ever been any eclipse, you know, that's the name that they've given it. That's what that's doing. You know what I'm saying? Earth is constantly evolving. You know, that's what the process is on this you know, in this realm is to constantly evolve and ascend. You know what I'm saying? Your soul is supposed to ascend here. And we've been so disconnected that they've been having us so distracted by working and, you know, living in this damn matrix and all the social media. And before even social media, there was, you know, having to work, having to pay taxes, having to take care of the kids, you know, being influenced by these celebrities that they give spotlights and that they give money to. And, you know, being living in fear and, you know, the way that they made the Bible created. So people were scared of God. People are scared of themselves. Not really realizing that they are God and you know it's just been a whole lot of disconnection from our true consciousness so that they can keep control over us but that is all going to end because now we are at a point where we have finally evolved enough as a consciousness to be able to collectively ascend and it's already been written that this would be the time period in which that would happen so y'all got to understand everything is already written. We already won. That's why I keep telling people there is no spiritual warfare. That is just war programming that they want to keep into your mind, making you believe that they actually have a chance against what's, what's coming. And they have no chance. There's no chance in heaven that they will ever be able to undo what is already written by the divine source and the powers that be. Okay, y'all got to understand that. So like I said, with this eclipse that's coming, basically a new reality is going to be, you know, experienced by all of us collectively because we are choosing to heal. So we're going to be feeling that within the energy, the atmosphere, your life, you're going to be feeling love. You're going to be feeling abundance. You're going to be feeling healing. You're going to be, you know, connected and, and uh, attracting nothing but healing.
literally this is the time period that everything was written about and we're existing in it we are experiencing it so i hope that you guys all feel as honored and excited and you know just bliss to be here baby because this is a time to be alive a live source of energy this is where you start from our milky way and each point tells you this is where it's at in all three star maps that i know of well could the et star map relate to the portal jumps that's what i'm thinking Portal jumps between magnetic field anomalies on Earth, multiple universes, multiple dimensions, multiple timelines, and matter worlds. Is that what this black sun pattern on the thick black basalt doors in Antarctica means? Did the humanoid intelligence that built these six huge structures covering 62 acres each in Antarctica deliberately mark their huge self-activating doors with the 12 arm symbol and star map because the information was their signature and their key to a galactic portal network? We're looking at the sun again this morning. Today's date is... March the 24th, 2024, I captured this on March the 20, uh, 20th at 7 a.m. And the time now is almost 8 o'clock, and we have the sun looking like this again. Um, again, there's a planet underneath it. We're here in lower Alabama. Sorry, guys, trying to zoom in. And it's still pulsating really strongly like it was the other day. So, yeah, I'm trying to zoom in, you guys, to see how it's still pulsating. And it's even pulsating like this, even to the naked eye. I'm trying to get it closer. Sorry, you guys. I'm zooming in and zooming out trying to get it. There we go. And my son. There's a lot of our people, man, at the North Pole. It's never left the presence of the black sun. This gamma radiation energy that they've been absorbing for generations to generation. Some of our people are so big, 25 feet tall, strong as hell, super saints. Can't nothing stop them. This is the U.S. is really scared because a lot of us share the same genetics with these beings from the inner earth. The Elohim, and so when that black sun rises, it basically just gives back that power that we once used to have. And of course, from there on, millions of super saints on the surface. This is the black sun. It's called the black sun. That particular part there is called the black sun. Right up there, you'll see a particular reptilian demon. You see a screw that represents the Kundalini. That reptilian demon that you see is the kundalini in you. But you also see a demon called a carnazone. It's the holy demon. Now what is this? You go into your Godhead. The kundalini is rising you to get, take you through the gateway, which is the black dot. But you have a lower nature. The lower nature likes it here. It wants to stay around. You understand? It's going to do everything to keep you from going up. So therefore, it makes everything in your outside world seem impossible so you'll get off the path. Oh, shit, I ain't got no money. Oh, this, oh, that. You see what I'm saying? Because the Lord nature really wants to get through. Once you see you rise, the Lord nature says, well, hell, I'm going to try to go too. That's your ego. You want to take all the foolishness with you. You understand what I'm saying? All the jealousy, all the envy, all the petty stuff. It sits over the doorway, and it's ready to devour anything that is not pure to get through. So what it does, it kills the lower nature, so only the higher nature rises through the star gate, and you go, and you go to your God here, and you become God again. You understand where I'm coming from? you right now something is not right about this eclipse this is the path that it will take and it will cross over with the eclipse that we had in 2017 making an x on the country now right there in the crosshairs right there is a town called maconda illinois let's talk about it
So this is a better look at the direct path of totality that the solar eclipse will take. Right there by Carbondale where the X meets is Maconda. Just as a fun fact for shiggles, this has never happened in the United States. We have never had two solar eclipse paths cross over on one town. So this is a pretty big fucking deal. Maconda really isn't that big of a deal. It has a population of like 500 people and it's known as a hippie town in Illinois. Now, what I did find interesting is that there is a giant city-state park inside of Maconda. Are we waking up giants? Now, Maconda translated to South African it means little ones. Are we the little ones and they're the big ones coming when the eclipse happens? Now, maybe I'm wilding out. Maybe I'm wilding out. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe there's nothing to this. But if I am just wilding out and there is nothing to this, why have they already predicted a historical chance of cloud coverage on the day of the solar eclipse? Since when do they predict cloud coverage two months in advance? It's just suspicious. The fact that this hasn't ever happened before is suspicious. The fact that there is a giant city-state park right outside Sewanee National Forest, which is known for Bigfoot sightings, is suspicious. So are the clouds a attempt to hide the eclipse from us so that we don't see what happens in the shadows because let me remind you this total solar eclipse will last for four minutes and 30 seconds at the beginning of the video he shows a cd or a disc he immediately draws the geometric shape of an oblate spheroid he separates the oblate spheroid with a disc that has a hole in the center. Then, below, he draws a circle with a swastika inside and immediately paints it completely black. come out and three rays pass through the hole in the center. Below he writes, still, one of the possible meanings of this black circle may be the black sun. draws reliefs on the edge of the hole and writes North Pole. And above this hole inside what would be the celestial vault, he draws a star, the polar star or Polaris. marks two points and connects them in a circle and writes, Equator. He draws two lines that go down from the polar star to the two points. The lines form a triangle. Highlights two of the rays coming out of the black sun and also forms a triangle but vice versa. And he writes, as above so below. It's one of the seven principles of Hermes Trismegistus. It appears on the emerald tablet and then in the Kabbalion. He erases the intersections and draws the sun and moon. And he 
he makes a gesture of rotation. He draws two arrows to show the distance of the moon and the sun. Both are 3,300 miles or 5,310 kilometers away. Then he measures the diameter of the sun and moon, being the same with a diameter of 32 miles or 51 kilometers. draws continents on the surface and on the other side as well. points both sides and writes, same. Below he writes summer land. Okay, y'all see this right here. He wrote, same. Right, and what he did was he put land below and land above, which means that there is the opposite of the sun and the moon here. There was a black sun. He's saying that at the bottom of this realm, it's the same, but it's like a different dimension, a different reality. But it's a black sun. You see what you y'all see that? He said it's the same. So at the, at we at the top of this realm, but at the bottom of this realm, he says this is the same. All right. He draws rays coming out of the black sun and writes northern lights. The center of the drawing is equal to the Mason symbol which is a square and a compass. He points out the ray coming out of the black sun toward the moon, and then he erases the face of the moon. signs explaining that the sun doesn't light up the moon. Who does it is the black sun. Like did I say the other day? I talked to you all. I was talking about the sun and the moon and told you all about how it was the black sun that illuminates the moon and it's the black sun that illuminates the sun as well. You understand? 
All right, this is a excellent video for such um, information.